Mm -hmm. This is a pretty spoiled go. little pup dog. We are off on our first trip. We're really excited. We just stopped after only traveling 30 miles because our dog really doesn't even know she's a dog. She recognizes blue signs, which is what we call them. You know, those are the signs that you see whenever you uh, go by a rest area. When she sees a blue sign, oh, a blue sign, we just stopped at a blue sign. She's just getting her chin. Yeah. So she knows the word blue sign and she can also recognize the sign whenever she sees it. So she gets really anxious and lets us know that she wants to stop. So we try to do that. 30 minutes into this trip, but hey. So we won't get a chance to uh, do this ever again, but this is Lynn's first time driving the Travada. So as a guy that's been driving a truck that's pulling a really big fifth wheel, being able to just pull up at the gas pump in my RV and fill up with gas, it's absolutely cool. I just gotta say. Pretty cool. So even though it was a short trip, we stopped a lot of times on the way here. We were both tired, so we turned in for the night. Today's trip, we came to the McDowell Preserve, which is near Charlotte, but it is on Lake Wiley. And as you can see, when we woke up this morning, we went for a little hike and ended up here at Million Dollar Houses on Lake Wiley on our own private little dock. <laughs> Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Loving life in the Travado so far. Pretty, pretty nimble. Not, not me. And Lynn is a little more nimble than I am, but we're loving life with the little bitty B-class van. Maggie loves being in a lake. She'll get a drink of water, and then she'll just explore. We don't usually get in and get a drink, though. Yeah, we don't. I'd be able to crap through a screen door if I drank that water. People often ask us why we travel around in an RV. Why don't we just buy a house on the lake since we have so much love for water? The reason is we can take the, the 59K, the Winnebago, just about anywhere we want to go and find water like this and we can see different sites as we go. So it gives us the opportunity to, to do what we love but these houses that you can see in the distance, those are million dollar houses. And they have a really good view. But then so do we. And we didn't spend a million dollars for it. I personally think that's pretty cool. What are you doing? <laughs> This would be a great pooping log. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to pull your pants down got, first. Got a place to stretch out. You got a log behind you you could reach on and get some leverage if you needed it. And you're a long ways away from the splatter. <laughs> so do you have enough? Can you get back far enough to where your butt to hang out? I don't off? know. Usually that's pretty. Yeah, it would be an issue. But if I lean back, I could ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so there aren't a lot of RV sites here, but what they call RV sites are really, most of them are pull through. And this is how we pulled in last night and made this work. Like many have suggested with the Travado, I filled up the freshwater tank. I only connected 30 amp power. So when we leave in a few minutes to go out and explore, I only have one thing that I have to do to get ready. But before we left on what was to be one of many shopping trips on this again? trip, I had to try out the hammock and I failed. <laughs> kind of hurt a little too. I hung the other one above this one and climbed into it. Mm -hmm. I would have fallen on top of you. I know, that would have been bad. We're not going to do that. Fallen. What do you think, Magpie? She's 
grinning. She's grinning. She's grinning. She is grinning. Look at that grin. One of our favorite restaurants. Just us Travado is perfectly fitting in a parking lot. One of my dad's favorite places. Just like I remember, chicken parmesan, spaghetti. We had to park a long ways away from the neighborhood theater, but I'm walking over there now. Parking has changed since the last time I came here. They have a big parking deck now. But of course, we're almost 10 feet high, so we can't fit in that thing. So we had to park way away from here. And I'm walking over here, and tonight we get to see our buddy Paul Thorne. The neighborhood theater. Things have gotten a little more upscale here. The neighborhood theater since the last time I was here. Until this morning when I woke up and I had a nipple on my head. <laughs> so, you wondered, can't see a thing. If anybody got any little concealer, I could try to cover it up. Don't take much of it. No, no, no. And I'm going to wait do right for showtime. Uh, as soon as I put it on, it's going to make me want to go. <laughs> you know, when you can't touch something, you want to touch it. Yeah. That's what's going <laughs> It's anyway, not that big. <laughs> So after breakfast and coffee, it was time to try out another trail at the McDowell Nature Preserve. This one was called Chestnut Trail. So after a mid-morning hike, it's almost 90 degrees. Maggie's getting a little towel bath and getting brushed. And she is... <laughs> she is just... Out. She's just down for the count. She, she's enjoying it. <laughs> she's smiling for sure. She is. You can see teeth. She's just like, I'm a lucky dog. I'm a lucky dog. I'm a lucky dog. With no concert to go to today, we headed to Tony's in Gastonia and then we visited my grandparents' gravesite in Bessemer City. finished breakfast, went for another hike, and then we went to a place called Haberdish and Noda. It was the best chicken we have ever had. You need to try it sometime. So Lynn and I got what we thought was a really good parking place, which it turns out it may not actually be. It may be like three-fourths of a mile away from where we're going, so we may have to move. 
We've been going for an hour, leaving it running with the, leaving the generator going with the air conditioning. And inside of the, on the front seats, there's a little magpie just waiting on her mommy and daddy to get back. She's right here, wagging her tail, happy as can be. She has some, some chicken. Come on, come on, get, get back in here. Back. Go, we got your chicken. What you got? Look. Chicken. Chicken from Haberdash. Oh, hey, I miss you too. You're welcome. You're welcome. We were off to Noda Brewing now to listen to Mr. J.J. Gray and Mofro. We've been waiting on this for a long time. Every black water swamp, every fresh water spring, everything. back to our campsite we were all pretty tired and this is how Maggie went to sleep that night we woke up the next morning made a little coffee took another hike made some new friends tried to survive the heat it was 105 that day then we left Charlotte with a smile and headed back to our little mountain home thanks for watching Lynn and I hope you'll take a few moments and subscribe to our channel and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you down the road.